I'm all packed up and ready to go on my sand flea hunt. So what I'm taking with me is a five gallon bucket. And because I don't wanna get my feet wet, um, I have all my rubber boots under my pants so I don't look totally crazy. And then of course, the guest of honor, our sand flea rake. All right, just to let you get a full view of that. That's what our sand flea rake looks like. So you can see it kind of looks like a, as I was describing to a gentleman, a highly sophisticated french fry basket um, if you wanted to try to build your own. But um, they do actually sell these at, I believe, um, Dick's Sporting Goods and sports goods stores like that, sporting goods stores like that. Um, at Dick's, I think I got this one for 30 bucks. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully we catch some sand fleas on this sand flea hunt. All right. Of course, to get sand fleas, you have to go to the beach, all right? And typically here in North Carolina, Cary Beach and Carolina Beach areas, you'll have boardwalks like these that you'll walk up and don't forget to pay the meter. Um, I'm actually here before 8 a.m., so I'm not having to pay the meter. But you can see the beach off in the distance here. So this is where you got to come to get them. Hopefully we'll find some. Generally, when I'm looking for sand fleas, I really just walk along the edge of the water here looking for what it is I want to see. And um, I'm going to see if I can get you some scenery, hopefully, of exactly what I'm looking for in the sand. Usually it's a disturbance, a rippling of sorts. And generally the waves will wash up as you're seeing them washing up, but then when they go back out, that's generally when the sand fleas are gonna be exposed. The water's kind of interesting right now, almost seems like dead low tide, so not a lot of wave action, which it seems like to me, you get a better pronounced designation of where the sand fleas are when there is a little bit more wave action but that's just been my experience so far I don't see anything yet all right so let's keep walking all right we're still on the hunt I think I'm coming up on an area where that looks promising all right let's see if we're right All right, yes, this is what we're looking for right here. See this area here in the sand? See where it's all rough? This is where, they are. This is where they're gonna be this morning. This, this should get me a few sand fleas to demo for you. All right, this area right here. See how it looks really rough? All right. That's what we're looking for. So you're walking down the beach until you see that disturbance in the sand like that, and that's where you go dig. That sound you're hearing below is me dumping them into the bucket. Let's see if we can get some more right here, because they were they seem to be kind of deep, so we're gonna dig a little deeper. hit pay dirt so we're we're in a good spot right now all 
Alright, let's dig a little more. Scoops in the road, but we hit them. There they are again. You can see in my net there, my basket. All right. All right. So I'm just getting a few today, but I just wanted to put a video out here for you to be able to see what I come out here and what I'm looking for in the sand uh, from a disturbance standpoint. Um, that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna get one more scoop here. I have about 30 in the, in the bucket right now. And remember one thing about keeping them alive, dry sand and as cool a place as you can afford. So if you have, um, I don't know, like a cool place inside your house where you could actually keep them cool, that'll be the way to go. Okay, so today's uh, sand flea hunt was a success. And the final step of keeping these sand fleas alive for a few days is dry sand. You'll notice that I'm up here where the dry sand is. Not down there where the wet sand is, but up here actually where the dry sand is. So we're going to get some of this dry sand in our bucket. Scoop, scoop, scoop. So here's our bucket. We're just getting some dry sand in there. And that's going to help our sand fleas. Stay alive for a few days. Hopefully I'll be able to use them all before I lose any of them. That doesn't always happen, unfortunately. But um, there we go. So hopefully that helps somebody. And um, if you have different tips and tricks, um, do share. I'm gonna put a little extra sand in here, just so they have a little extra. And ultimately they'll end up in this five gallon bucket here. So they have more room to move around. More room to move around the cabin. All right, there we go. So this is Chris signing off. OD5 out. Be kind to the fish.